According to the theory of relativity, time travel is possible. However, with current technology, the prospect of a working time machine is exclusively a what-if scenario explored in science fiction media. Time Splitter's Future Perfect is a great example of how a first-person shooter game can implement time travel themes. It received overwhelmingly positive reviews in 2005, and today is considered by both critics and gamers to be a cult classic. The time travel narrative succeeds in the game because it parodies the genre, and features scenarios in both the near past and the far future. It also has light-hearted humour and a cartoon visual style that makes the game incredibly entertaining from start to finish. So let's take a look at how Time Splitter's Future Perfect manages to be an exceptional time travel story. But beware of spoilers for the game from here on out. Time Splitter's Future Perfect centers around saving humanity's future by venturing into the past. You take on the role of a space marine after they arrive back on Earth in the year 2401. Unidentified ship, this is Control. Please identify yourself. Over. This is Cortez. Sergeant Cortez. You drop directly into the ongoing war between humans and the titular Time Splitters, a race capable of traveling time, space, and dimensions. After fighting towards the marine base, you deliver the stolen time crystals, which gives the Time Splitters their abilities. Is that them? Beautiful. Bring them over to the machine and let's get them plugged in. The plan is to travel in time and destroy the time crystals before they could ever be used to start a war. You then jump around to different years in pursuit of where the time crystals originated from. All right. Find the crystals and destroy the lot. <laughs> How hard could it be? The first place you visit is an island off the coast of Scotland in 1924. You infiltrate a castle that is under siege by the Navy before encountering a mysterious time traveller. I thought I told you not to interrupt me. Whoa, Anya, did you see that? Yes, but what's a human doing with a time device? You then track down an evil genius associate of the time traveller to a Russian train depot in 1969. Here you uncover and foil their plans to take over the world using a stolen nuclear weapon to start a war. But first, it's time to get out my big weapon. <laughs> Unfortunately, I won't be around to watch it blast off. And neither will you. After stopping the train, you learn that the Time Traveller is the leader of a cult, and you venture to the mansion where it was founded in 1994. It quickly becomes apparent that the house is not only haunted, but also occupied by numerous undead zombies. What do you mean, zombies? Zombies. You know, undead flesh-eating creatures of the night? From the graveyard the house is built on? That's why it's haunted? After uncovering the secret experiments gone wrong in the mansion's basement, you then stumble upon a meeting of two versions of the Time Traveller. Grandpa? No, fool! It's me! Grandpa? No! I'm you! You're me? Yes! From the future! Now knowing their name to be Jacob Crow, you visit an infiltrated company that they founded in 2052. You then face off against their small army of mechanized robots, after which you confront them about the time crystals. Don't play dumb with me, Crow. I know everything. I know you used the time device to travel back to 1994 and tell your younger self to carry on your twisted genetic experiments using the power of the time crystals. Really? Really? Well, uh, yeah. What? Realizing that one of the robots you defeated had not yet been invented, you travel yeah, forward to 2243 like during the machine wars. You arrive at this dystopian time in the middle of an uprising during the battle between robots and human cyborgs. You survive the conflict only to learn that the time crystals were mined from the Scottish island visited earlier in the game, leading Cortez to travel back and locate them. The individualistic design of each level means that at this point in Time Splitter's Future Perfect, you will have visited several different periods and locations. This keeps things incredibly fresh as the landscape is always constantly changing. The game also takes the opportunity to provide you with a variety of weapons, ranging from World War I and Cold War era guns to futuristic sci-fi lasers. There is even variety in the enemies you face, from henchmen and henchwomen, to undead nightmares, to killer robots. Many of the scenarios are also based on or inspired by other works, 
For example, The Haunted Mansion, The Mad Science Experiments, The Spy Action Thriller, and The Post-Apocalyptic Future are all tropes commonly featured in science fiction media. The result is that the narrative ends up bouncing around between strikingly absurd but entertaining situations. This complements the game's humour and importantly makes the game enjoyable to play. Devising and implementing a game mechanic that encapsulates time travel is not as simple as you may think. However, Time Splitters Future Perfect uses the concept of time loops to accomplish just that. At certain points in the game, Cortez receives help from a past or future version of himself to progress the mission. This occurs by passing through a portal, and whenever you encounter another Cortez, it gives you an idea as to what's coming up later in the game. Need a lift? Yeah, thanks for stopping. Ah, you would have done the same for me. <laughs> Already did. Of course. Whoa, check this out. In the first instance, Cortez simply gives his past self a key to a locked door. That's right where I was when the other me gave me that key. Of course, it's a wormhole. <laughs> However, things get much more complicated later on as two Cortezes team up to defend each other from various enemies so that the past you will be able to become your future what? self. Whoa. The game builds this up to a rather over-the-top situation where multiple versions of Cortez are needed to hack a complex dual system while also simultaneously defending themselves from security robots in an extremely memorable encounter. In one of the later missions of the game, this time loop is also used to send Cortez back in time to defend the version of himself from the very first level that you play. This allows you to witness the game's action-heavy opening mission from a different perspective. The success of this is that you have no idea that this was the case while initially playing that level. However, if you go back, you can spot your disguised future self, and they even appear in the opening seconds of the game right after you crash. These encounters and interactions make for a highly enjoyable and interesting narrative. And I'm gonna have to take your robot. What? Last guy took mine. The dynamic between the various Cortezes is also often hilarious, making it a good way of further exploring and showing off the game's main character. I know time paradox. I'll be careful. Wait! What? There's no train! Oh, yeah. The Time Splitters series is often remembered for its wide range of characters. Many of these characters have charming personalities that are amusing to listen to with their subtle and not so subtle innuendos, as well as playful jokes. Cloudy Rainbow, come in. Cloudy Rainbow, this is Shower of Gold. Over. Cloudy Rainbow. The game's characters are particularly showcased well by the companions you work alongside in the main story missions. Each is highly based on stereotypes that further add to the themes of the level, as well as the time period that they are set in. Captain Ash has a typical British accent and helps you to storm the Scottish castle in 1924. His outfit implies that he was previously in the military, and he even makes comments that suggest he fought in World War I. You then meet Harry Tipper in 1969, who helps you to sneak into Callus' secret lair using his world-renowned detective and spy agent skills. His attire and facial hair are also of the era, and at the end of the day, he just wants to let loose at his club disco. Hey, spaceman, wanna go to a party? Can. It's time to stop. Uh, just do the thing. <laughs> Arriving at the Haunted Mansion in 1994, you are rather ungracefully introduced to Joe Beth Casey. Joe Beth's personality and desire to photograph the supernatural, as well as her rather risque schoolgirl outfit, are archetypal of other survival horror characters. I'm guessing Professor Plum in the library, eaten by a zombie. Amy Chen is a government agent who you encounter also breaking into the same company as you are. She is highly skilled at infiltrating, knowing martial arts and hacking, as well as being able to blend in using a disguise. However, despite teaming up, it becomes rather obvious that both she and Cortez are more used to working alone. So, been with the agency long? Uh, yeah. Uh, mm. Three three years in May. Uh, you get dental? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's good. Mm. At the start of the Machine Wars mission, you hack and reprogram a robot to become an ally for the level. It also seems that you alter parts of their personality, and they become the perfect imitation of many robots and androids shown in films. Alright, Tin Man, let's go. 
by your command. The rather quirky design of these characters helps to emphasize this wild depiction of time travel. Their entertaining dialogue also means you look forward to encountering each of the companions in the game's level. This is the 60s. Anything goes, baby. The system is now active. Please identify yourself. The clever approach of Time Splitter's Future Perfect to having time travel in the game is both creative and comedic. The diverse range of level settings and stereotypical character design, as well as the time loop gameplay, means that you never get bored while playing. The resulting experience of Time Splitter's Future Perfect is a brilliant achievement in implementing time travel concepts into a video game.